America, we are ISIS. We have captured your American journalists. Uh. He represents you, you American pigs. We will bring war to your country. Your men, your women, your children will die by our hand. Allah will guide us. War is just. War is needed. Allah! My name is Habib Ahmadi. I was born in a small village in Afghanistan. I am a high-ranking member of ISIS, although I initially joined because I was forced to. I grew up learning and following the objectives of ISIS, but I do not agree with them now. If I ever speak against ISIS, I will be killed. I must live a lie. We have to invade Iraq! Yes, we must invade. Hari, come, come here. We must invade Iraq, Harib. But our soldiers? Yes, they will die, Harib. But it is needed. It is needed, Harib. It's for Allah! But Allah doesn't want to invade Iraq. Harib. It is time we told you why ISIS exists. We are a state, Harib. What we want is not religion. What we want is oil and power and women, Harib. What we want as a state is greatness. So what happens if a few of our brothers think that Allah will save them in the battlefield? As long as we are victorious, it does not matter. We will win Harib. We will be a state that rules the world. They say that there is good and evil in everyone's heart. With me there's more. It feels like inside my mind is a never-ending war. Some are good, others are evil. Yet some who just want to fight. This mental war is killing me slowly. Please let it end tonight. Day after day my head is pounding. I no longer care who wins. I don't care if it's my good or happiness or even my worst of sins. This war may only end when I do. I feel this day is near. Suicide is for the weak, so I'll die very naturally by a war inside my mind. Hey man, do you, uh, do you think I can get some food? Oh boy! War is atrocious and evil, especially for the soldiers fighting in it. Soldiers are forced to fight for a meaningless cause. 
They kill and destroy despite the unspeakable toll they face. They are subjected to an onslaught of ideals and propaganda that coerces them into wanting to kill. Oh my gosh, these rich crackers are so good. Hey, that's enough! Harib! Don't let them eat. Harib, Harib. Hey, when you confiscated my stuff, you took a book. It was called All Quiet on the Western Front. In that book, there's a guy named Paul. He used to be this young, compassionate, sensitive man. He wrote poetry, and he loved his family. But when he joins the army, he loses his innocence. He becomes a human animal. He acquires mental trauma and slowly becomes desensitized. He's incapable of mourning his dead comrades, connecting with his family, or comprehending a future without war. He doesn't deserve to be in the position he's in. You kind of remind me of Paul. This emotional disconnection has a destructive impact on a soldier's humanity. Paul, for instance, becomes unable to imagine the future without the war, and he's unable to remember how he felt in the past. He also loses his ability to speak to his family. Soldiers no longer pause to mourn fallen friends and comrades. These men are subject to constant physical danger as they could be blown to pieces at any moment. This intense physical threat also serves as an unceasing attack on the nerves, forcing soldiers to cope with primal instinctive fear during every waking moment. Come, come, I love you. Harib, I want you to kill this man. Take your knife and put it to his throat. Do you understand me? But he's human. No, he is the enemy, Harib. This is this is wrong. This is war, Harib. Do you understand? He's human. The video will start shortly. You must kill him. Or I will kill you. Okay, I'll do it. America! This is your American journalist. Know that this is the cost of war. Harim! Kill him! Kill him now! They say that there is good and evil in everyone's heart. With me, there's more. It feels like inside my mind is a never-ending war. People change because of the things that they are forced to do and the things that they see. This mental war is killing me slowly. Please let it end tonight. Day after day, my head is pounding. The effects that war has on some people are life-changing and in some cases overwhelm them and force them to take their own lives. This war may only end when I do. I feel this day is near. In some cases, people are desensitized because of what they have seen. I have lost my innocence. I will not lose my life too. I am leaving. I understand, comrade. I understand perfectly. Let's go.
On the surface, this is a hopeful song celebrating the virtues of youth. But a closer listen reveals a fear of aging and death. This song was written during the war where the singer is hoping for the best but expecting the worst. Are you gonna drop the bomb or not? Here, it marks the contrast of the forever young. The idealism of the youth will always hope for the best while the bitterness of age will make you accept the worst. This division of youth, idealism versus adulthood, distrust in the present in all ages and forms. The singer doesn't want to die. He wants to keep on living. But at the same time, the idea of living forever seems much too scary.